What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Doctor Strange from the Multiverse of Madness. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle in the center of our page. Let's move to a side grip, using the flat edge. Let's start from the very top. Just gonna lightly work our way around the left side, coming in towards the bottom of our circle. And we'll go all the way around the right side. Now with our circle in place, we want to add a set of guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start from the very center at the very top. Sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll extend that up towards the top of our page. Let's add another guideline on the side of our circle. So we'll start on the left, coming down, and then back up, and do the same thing on the right. Let's add some more guidelines going across from left to right. So we'll start in the center of our circle, go out towards the left and right side, add another line across the top of our circle, and then one more along the bottom to create a box around our circle. Now you want to locate the inside corner of the eyes. So starting from the center of our circle, step over towards the left, come down towards the bottom, and we'll extend that up towards the top, and then we want to take that same distance over on the right and do the same thing. Now from here we start blocking out the facial features starting with the eyes. From this point, let's step down, turn this up and out towards that center line, and do the same thing on the right. Now halfway between that eye line and the side of our circle, so starting right here, curve the eye coming down, and then come straight in. Now you want to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So starting back over on the left, draw a half circle, coming down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's go back to the inside corner of the eyes, angle the eyebrow going up and out towards the side, angle is down and out. Let's go back to the inside of the eyebrow. We're going to add a curl coming in and up the middle. Connect the inside with a curve coming down and back up. Let's place the nose just up above the bottom of our circle. So we step up, start with a circle going all the way around. And from the side, angle the nose going up and out. Go up and bend that in. Let's go to the bottom of our circle, step down, sketch another line going across from left to right. Let's place the mouth along that bottom line. Starting right in the middle, start by curving this up and out towards the left, and do the same thing on the right. Let's connect the ends of the mouth with a curve, coming down towards the lower lip, and then back up. Now from the lower lip, we're going to step all the way down and just mark off the chin with a straight line. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw in the jawline. Starting from the side of our circle, and it was down and in. And then we'll angle the jaw coming down towards the chin. Pull that down towards that bottom line. and then we'll round out the chin. Let's go back and add some guidelines for the mustache. From the tip of the nose, step over toward the left, angle this down and out, do the same thing on the right, and pull that straight down towards the chin. Now from the corners of the mouth, we're gonna come down, round this out, and then pull that back up on the left side of the lip, same thing on the right. Now from here we're going to move out to the side and draw on the ears. From the side of the circle, step out, start with a straight line coming down the side, and the ears coming down and back in towards the head. Let's go to the top of our circle, step down, curve the hairline going up and out 
for the top corner of this box. Now from the corner of the box, we're going to step in, curve the hairline, coming around, and then bend that down toward the side of the head. Now let's sketch the outside edge of the hair starting with the left side. Starting from this point, we're going to go straight up, round out the top, come across towards the left. Now you want to round out the side of the head, come down, and just pull that in towards the side. Let's go over towards the right side, curve around, come down, and then in. Let's go back down to the jaw, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. Let's connect the ends with a curve. Now let's add the top edge of the cape, starting from the bottom of the ears. Start with a short line going across, then the cape going out and then down. And then from the bottom corners of the neck, curve the cape coming in and then down towards the bottom. Now we're going to add a curl over on the left side. Let's start up here, curve up, round this out, and then pull that in towards the forehead. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean sketch, we're going to go back in with the tip of pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the top edge of the left eye. Starting up here, just going to trace this out, and we'll just readjust the shape as we go. adding a small circle in the center for the pupil. And a small highlight on the top right. And then lightly shading the inside of the eyes, going around that highlight. And then with the side edge of a pencil, I'm just going to add some shading around the eye, starting along the top, coming down towards the nose. Just enhance that fold inside the brow. And going across the bottom of the eyebrows. Just adding some thickness as we go. And then we'll go back to the tip of pencil and add a little bit of detail on the inside.
Just gonna bring that shading down towards the nose. And then move down and start adding some detail. Now I'm just going to use the side edge of my pencil to darken up that mustache. Starting from the center, just coming down just above the lip, and just working with that guideline. I'm just going to bring that down towards the chin. We'll go back with the tip of our pencil and start adding some detail. I'm going to move over towards the side of the head and start working in the cheekbones. Just going to add a shadow along the side and then fade that in.
I'm just gonna add a little bit more shape to the ears. And just add some rough shading and fold on the inside. Now from here we're gonna move up and start adding some texture to the hair. Starting from the center, it's gonna sweep the hair across towards the left. Just working against this line. And we'll go across the left side. Now go back and add some contrast to the hair. I'm just going to darken up the shadow on the inside of the collar and then just fade that out. Now I'm going to add an even shade to the neck area. And then the head will cast a dark shadow across the top of the neck.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Doctor Strange. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.